Hello, I'm David Clark. I'm the Managing Director of DBC, and we make systems for EDIUS as well as run EDIUS training courses and make our own tutorial DVDs. At the Pro Video Show in October in the UK, we did a variety of seminars on different subjects, and one of these was entitled 10 EDIUS Secrets. We had quite a few customers saying they couldn't get to the show, so was there any chance of seeing this talk afterwards? So here we have our 10 EDIUS secrets. And they're not really secrets. If you watched our tutorial or even, heaven forbid, read the manual, you're probably aware of them. But they are the kind of things that whenever we show them off on open days or at shows, we get the response, oh, I never knew you could do that. The entire seminar is about 35 minutes, so we split it into three sections. You can see all of the sections on our website, where you can find other free tutorials on EDIUS, as well as Adobe Premiere Pro, Encore and After Effects. And we'll be adding more as the months progress. Anyway, let's get on with our 10 EDIUS secrets. I've got a couple of sequences down here. They're just called sequence three, sequence four, make up another one, sequence five. They're all given very silly names. I'd like to call it something that means something to me. Now, you should know that if you go over to the bin and right click and say rename, change the name to something, it doesn't actually change the name of the sequence. To change the name of the sequence, you have got to go to Settings, Sequence Settings, and change the name here. Or you've got to right-click on the tab, Sequence Settings. Or you've got to go to the thing in the bin, right-click, Sequence Settings, and change the name. But what you're possibly not aware of is there's a lot quicker way of doing it. Go down to the tab here and double-click with the right mouse button. Change the name. Double right click. Easiest way by far to change the name in a sequence. And I was quite staggered when somebody told me that. And it is in the manual. I just didn't know about it. Very, very quick way of changing the name of a sequence. If you've got Edius Neo, it's the only way you can change the name of a sequence. And the name of the sequence is important for two reasons. The first, it helps you actually find them. And for the second, when you go to make a DVD, this is the name that will pop up next to the icon. So double right click, brilliant way of changing the name of a sequence. Next, I'd like to talk to you about a nice editing shortcut. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of clips and throw them down onto the timeline. Looking at all these clips, I've used absolutely every part of them and I really need to chop some bits off it. Looking at this clip here, for example, I wish it didn't start there. I wish it started over here. Well, obviously you can grab hold of it and trim it, can't you? Yep, yeah, all used to that. But there's a very, very useful keyboard shortcut to trim it for you. Stick the cursor where you want the clip to start and press the N key. Where do you want it to finish? Press M. Where do you want it to start? N. Where do you want it to finish? M. Brilliant little shortcut, a lot of people don't know about it. Oh, well, I've trimmed it there, left some holes, so I really need to get rid of the holes, so I see I could right click and delete the gap, or another nice shortcut is lasso the bunch of clips and press the backspace key, gets rid of all holes. But wouldn't it be nice if I could justly just close those holes up as I went through and did the N's and the M's? Well, this is where you've got your old insert and overwrite modes. So I'm in overwrite mode, so whenever I do anything, it just leaves holes around. If I click into insert mode, then use my N and M and N and M, you'll notice it's automatically closing holes for me, which is nice. Now, a lot of people when they're doing training on EDIUS basically say, look, don't go into insert mode. Insert mode can be annoying. There are times when you do stuff in insert mode and things start moving around the timeline and you haven't the foggiest idea why. For example, let's suppose I want to create a title here in the title track. I'm gonna say create a new title, type some words, F3, quickly just see it nicely, close that down. Yeah, it's put a title in, but why the hell has it put a hole up here? That's because I'm in insert mode. In insert mode, whenever you put anything on the timeline, things will shuffle around. Now, EDIUS won't chop a clip in half, but what it will do is move everything else down by the length of whatever you've done it. So that space there is exactly the same as my title, which is why a lot of people say, don't use insert mode. Now, personally, I reckon you get the hang of insert mode. It's very, very useful. But I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to put it back into overwrite mode, 
and say, okay, well, I'm not going to go into insert mode. So how can I very, very quickly use my N and M keys to trim this video and get rid of the holes without having to do a lot of clicking around? Keyboard shortcut time. If I press N, it leaves a hole. Let's just undo that. If I hold down Alt and then press N, it trims it and close the gaps. Alt and M chops the end off. Alt and N start, Alt and M the end. And this even works if you have transitions on there. So select a bunch of clips, drag a transition onto the lot of them. Then you want to come through here and start trimming. So Alt N, Alt M, Alt N, Alt M. It's going through, it's trimming the clips, but it's leaving the transitions intact. Really cool keyboard shortcuts for editing. There's an awful lot of keyboard shortcuts in Edius, and there are actually keyboard shortcuts for things that you never knew it could do. So for example, I want to select a whole bunch of clips here and move them. Now I could drag a box over them and just grab them and move them, but suppose I've got a really long timeline here. I don't want to have to keep zooming out and selecting everything. I'd be a right pain in the neck. I really just want a way of saying, right, stick the cursor there and select everything from there to the end of the timeline. How can I do that? Well, let's hunt around in the menus. Look, under the edit menu, there's a select. But you've only got two options. Select track or select all track. What are they? Well, look, very simple. If I go control and A, it selects everything on whichever track is highlight. That's from the start onwards. If I go shift and A, it selects everything on every single track, but not from where the cursor is, from right at the start of the project. And I don't want to do that. I want to select from there to the end of the timeline. So how do I do that? There isn't anything in the menus about it. There's nothing on right clicking or anything. I can't find a way of doing that. There's a keyboard shortcut. You just don't know what it is. Go up to settings, user settings, and then under user interface, look for keyboard shortcut. Now this gives you a list of all of the keyboard shortcuts that Edius has got. I'm looking for something that selects clips. And I have no idea where it is in the list, so let's come up to filter here and type in select. That shows me all the keyboard shortcuts that have got the word select in them. Look down here, look at this lot. Select from the timeline cursor to the end. That's what I wanted to do. That's shift together with the end key. Oh, let's try that. Stick the cursor there, hold down on shift, click end, bingo. Everything's selected. I can move it all down the timeline. I didn't know I could do that because it's not in any of the menus, but it's there. And there are lots of others. For example, suppose I wanted to take these clips here and stick them into their own sequence. Now, how would I do that? Now, normally what I'd do is I would copy them, make up a new sequence, and then paste them. And that puts all the clips that I've just copied into a new sequence. One way of doing it. But, of course, I really want a nice keyboard shortcut -y way of doing it quicker. Well, let's come up and have a look at the keyboard shortcuts again. This time, I want something to do with a sequence. One of them here says, add to bin as sequence, bracket selected clip. What that means is, with all the clips you've got selected, stick them in the bin as their own sequence. Now, it's not assigned, so it just doesn't work at the moment, but I'm going to assign it. How do I do that? Well, you click on the assign button. Surprise, surprise. And then you choose what your shortcut's going to be. In this case, I'm going to say, let's say Shift and S is going to be the keyboard shortcut that's going to make a sequence out of them. Now, it says to me, oh, well, look, that already does something, Mush. Yeah, I know. It doesn't anymore. Now, Shift and S does what I want it to do. Close. OK. Shift, S. Gosh, there we are little sequence in there with those clips already in it. There are a lot more keyboard shortcuts inside of Edius. When you've got a few minutes, why don't you have a look through and see what things that you can do that you never knew you could do before.